Hello, this is Uncle Jimmy, Jimmy's Train Station Travel Adventures, and we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and my wife wants to do a review on the motel we are staying at, because none of us are really happy. It's the Ramada by uh, Marriott. Wyndham. Or Wyndham, I'm sorry. Uh, Ramada by Wyndham, and it's in Pigeon Forge. It's, it's called, uh, again, it's the uh, Ramada by Wyndham North. And it's right on the main drag of Pigeon Forge. Um, we've had a lot of bad luck since we've been here. Uh, this is one example right here, the air conditioning. They just took it out. Now, there's a guy that works here for maintenance. His name's Michael. He's been so kind uh, to try to take care of us and, and fix everything. He's putting a new air conditioning in because this one here kept freezing up. Everybody else around here, all the managers and stuff, been giving us the runaround. But he said if we're going to be compensated for this, he's going to make sure of. So we'll see what happens. But uh, my wife's really disappointed, too, with the whole situation. She can tell you a little about what's going on. So we're going to do a tour of the hotel later on. But um, as far as what we're being told is we got lied to, saying that, like, the pool area, the reason that it's hot is because of the Tennessee Health Department um, that they're making them keep it that hot, but that's really not what the real thing is And I'll show you guys later what we mean about that. All right, and until then uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're watching it, please subscribe to our channel um, We do reviews of restaurants and and places we go. We do a lot of uh, museums uh, roadside attractions haunted attractions uh, I do conventions and autograph convention a little bit of everything So if you like that kind of stuff, please hit the subscribe button at the bottom and it just helps us grow It costs you absolutely nothing not even if you watch another video just hit that subscribe button on the video You'll see the little red box with the white arrow um, Feel free to leave comments suggestions of things you'd like to see in the future and uh, you know things like that so uh Sit back uh, and enjoy this uh, review of the motel that my wife's going to give. And uh, and we like doing this to save you trouble later. So uh, follow her on this adventure. So we're doing the review on the Ramada by Wyndham. And one of the things that we wanted to bring to the attention. The pool looks really nice if you look at it. But things such as cleaning are not a big thing here in this hotel. Like if you look at the floors closely, you can see that like even in swimming areas, there's like diaper pieces laying around. And like, you can see that they didn't really like clean it good. Like, like, it's, like, you really have so to you watch really where you see step. how you gotta watch where you step because, like, the babies that have diapers and stuff. It's like, all, all of a sudden, it's like a mush. The door, this is how, when we came in, the room was reading at 98 degrees Fahrenheit. So, 98, think about that outside but inside, and that was supposed to be comfortable for you to swimming in. And this is what they do just prop the door open. This is the air conditioning. That's air conditioning that they have in here. It is adorable. And then the pool, the water, see the water is, I mean the water looks nice, but no wet floor signs, none. Uh, again, 90, 98 degree room temperature, and the water temperature is reading at 97.8. And I had a health inspector come in because the health inspector, what I was told, what I was told from the hotel is that when I complained about how hot the room is and how hot the pool is, they said the Tennessee health inspectors are the ones that make them regulate, them. regulate the temperature. And so I decided that I'm gonna give it a couple days because I, you know, you don't want to complain while you're staying because you don't want them to make your stay worse. And Called the health inspectors and the health inspectors came in and the health inspector said that it was way too hot and that they do not regulate that. So he's basically we lied, lied to. to. A few times, not not only that another, time. Another thing that we were lied to was we had this air conditioner. If you can see it, I took a picture of it because if, if you can see it, 
don't know if you can see that very well. This was the air conditioner that was in our room. I'm going to show you the inside of it. That was the inside of it before they took it out. And that was after a half hour of trying to get our room cool. It would freeze over. It would freeze over. So I called maintenance and I asked the hotel, I said to the front desk, can you let maintenance come and look at this? And now let's grant it this was on Monday. They said maintenance will come and look at it. Maintenance never looked at it. So we figured we'd call in the evening on Tuesday. Maybe they were busy on Monday. They told us call in the morning because the evening maintenance, they don't know nothing. Which got confirmed by the maintenance people this morning. They told us that the night shift uh, maintenance people don't know anything. They're just basically housekeepers. And the guy that has helped us a lot, Michael, which was wonderful, he shouldn't, they don't even deserve him here. He they, should be in another place because he's a great maintenance guy. He helped us a lot with the pool situation and uh, he helped us with the air conditioning. He brought a whole brand new unit up after they lied to us and told us they didn't have a unit to replace it. They uh -huh. was going to move us to another room, which would have been really inconvenient. So that was on... That was today, our last day that they brought in the air conditioner unit because they were told that Mike, the guy that was the helpful um, maintenance person, he was never informed of any of this. No, so they had lied to us about that saying that, uh, that they had written it down for maintenance and it just never happened. They were lying to us again the whole time. What was that one morning that was bre with breakfast? Was that? So one morning for breakfast we went down and they didn't really, they ran out of food and it was nine o'clock. Their breakfast goes till 10. Um, so here we are going to a hotel that has free breakfast and has no breakfast. And this is not COVID time. I mean, we're still in another, you know, still in our COVID, but not the beginning of it. So, you know, it's still a buffet breakfast like it's supposed to be, but it was set up where there was nothing there. Now, they'll take it. We're not being Karens or anything because most of the time we do really good reviews on place I'm, i mean I, I hardly ever do bad reviews unless we're disappointed but when you're on vacation and you're trying to enjoy the area and the time with your family and the pool when you have kids that's number one of course you got to have a pool uh, you want things to go right you don't want to have to worry about if your air conditioner works in your room when it's 90 degrees out that the room the I understand the pool's heated and that, that's fine, but the room itself shouldn't be like 100 degrees on top of the water being 97, which was too hot. Um, we got the health inspector's report and I'll let her tell you about that. So the health inspector report had multiple things wrong. They were saying that there's poor lighting throughout the facility. They found multiple um, concerns like that wiring wasn't right and that um, they found like glass objects laying around that shouldn't have been. Um, poor lighting in the room here, even for the pool. Um, the circulation for the pool not right. The water temperature of the pool not right. Um, and so, I mean, the health inspectors now are gonna be keeping an eye on this hotel. But the biggest thing, and we'll do some reviews on good hotels down the road. Um, but this is one that, you know, if you're planning on coming down, I wouldn't recommend it. Just only because the, the staff lies to you instead of instead of actually being honest to you um, and and helping you out and the, the biggest thing that they can tell you is you can just pack your bags and go and they talk about you so they'll talk about you in front of the other staff people in front of the other customers um, so every time we would walk downstairs they would mention our names and then they would talk about us to the other workers uh, which we you know you don't appreciate that as a customer so just as a you know, we're just trying to save people the, you know, it's a great hotel if you're not going to use a pool and you're not going to want air conditioning come in the fall. Maybe it's a great hotel then, but don't come in the summertime when you want air conditioning and you want a, a, a pool that you can swim in. So, I mean, that pretty much sums it up. I mean, uh, th but the thing is, they didn't even, you know, the maintenance guy was real apologetic and said that, uh, that we've been more than kind about this. It said if it was him and it was his family, he would be irate. And we're not the only ones that complain about the pool. Everyone that come in here so far, we have heard. Now they come to find out that they had the electrical system wired wrong. Now, needless to say, it is a little cooler in here and it feels a lot better. 
But of course, they still have the door propped open over there. Because it's still not. Because the temperature is still not regulating right. Now, you know, instead of offering us, you know, it, they could have been nice and said, well, here, here's some show tickets, a free show, or here, here, we'll take a day or two off of your and give you some money back. They're like, no, we can give you your money back, but it'll be seven days and you'll have to go somewhere else. Well, here's the problem with that. We plan and we work hard for this vacation and we don't have the money to just go to another motel. And I sure don't want to put it on our credit cards and have to wait a week to get our money back. So, I mean, this isn't over. Um, my wife's still going to talk to management and uh, if she has to go over to management's head and talk to uh, the owners and see if we can get at least get half off of what we, some of the money we get back or or maybe a free stay next year or something because we deserve something because all in all you know it makes vacation a little miserable when you, when you have kids you want to they want to go swimming you got pool problems and and then the room's miserably hot and everyone's already irritated and and, it, and every half hour you have to shut it off to let it thaw out so um you know out of one out of ten i give this motel a two I mean, as, the, as far as that goes. Yeah, I mean, the, the best thing is, is like the hotel, the good things are like the maintenance man, Mike. He's an awesome guy. Um, the towels are nice. Um, and they do give you your um, uh, amenities, like your little shampoos and, and all that that come with your basic, you know, hotel um, stay. So they do give you, they do supply you with that kind of stuff. But it's just, you know, the simple fact of customer courtesy. That's the biggest that's thing. That's my biggest customer thing. Customer courtesy. I would have gave them a five with the issues we had, but with them lying, yeah, I drop it down to a two rating. So just remember, it's the Ramada by Wyndham right here in Pigeon Forge. It's right on the left as you come in. Right, beside right, Dunkin right beside Dunkin' Donuts and right before the Hollywood Wax Museum. So, you know, like I said, we're not Karens. We usually give very good reports and... And, and we've uh, stayed at multiple hotels down here. There's, and haven't had any issues. And, and we even stayed during COVID. And, and you know, when, when they were having... You know, when the hotels were supposed to have all-you-can-eat buffets and they ended up having little box meals. You know, we've stayed at hotels like that and never worried or complained about that kind of stuff. That's understandable. And we understand short staff everywhere. You know, I work two jobs. So I totally understand that, um, but yeah, just you just want to, you know, customer courtesy is a big thing with me. So that's our review on this motel. And if you're watching this, please subscribe to my channel. Um, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions of things you'd like to see in the future. Uh, go out there and have your own adventures and have fun. And this has been Uncle Jimmy and, and my wife, Jenny, with Jimmy's Train Station and Travel Adventures. Until next time, goodbye. Hello, this is Uncle Jimmy and uh, Jimmy's Train Station Travel Ventures once again. And we just wanted to do an update on our motel review and put this at the ending of the motel review because we had some changes. And uh, <coughs> it's getting ready to storm here in PA. Wind's picking up, rain. But I'm going to let my wife explain uh, what happened our last day. And, and I'll let her explain it. Alright, so just as an update, I did get a review from... Uh, or I did go to the... Uh, the manager at the hotel and I did give her a review from um, the inspector. I do have the health report Because um, as you know, we had to call the health inspector for the Ramada by Wyndham and Pigeon Forge because uh, the hotel staff was telling me that um, It's the health department that regulates that so I called the health department asked them They could send out a surprise inspector surprise inspector did come out and then he called me um, apologized for um, what had happened and also um, told us uh, that it was one of the worst hotels that he inspected um, and he's inspected hundreds of hotels um, in the area um, uh, so don't take it upon what 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 happened to us but um, the man or the maintenance man did tell us that they had somebody come in and fix the um, the um, air conditioning after the inspector come in and um, and also he thanked us for having the health inspector come in and they did give us our money back 
um, after I told the manager that and and she did try to claim that they gave us our that they were going to change our rooms they only offered that the last day um, and that is after they already were going th that we contacted the maintenance man and the maintenance man um, did bring us a new air conditioner and apologize that that happened to us so they were just the manager just wanted to say that and, and the reason we found that out was from our bookings review she came back and said that she offered us a different room that never happened but you know they don't want to see negative reviews um, so um, just saying that you know don't take it upon our word um, you know this is not to bash the hotel this is just to give input and we wanted to give a review especially if you're going and traveling with your kids looking for a swimming pool may not be the hotel you want to stay at or it might be fixed by now um, but uh, the the maintenance man did thank us for having that inspector come out and uh, the air conditioner was fixed our very last night there uh, the motel kept telling us that they couldn't do anything about it but move a room but the whole time uh we didn't want to do that because of all the stuff and the kids and have to move to another room i mean it was just very inconvenient but the whole time they had a brand new air conditioner unit sitting in storage and michael said there was the maintenance guy who was wonderful he he did everything he could to help us uh they don't even deserve him there the way he, he should be running the place yeah. but uh he did fix our air conditioner and like i said you know just so much happened uh the pool with the problem of being like two degrees lower than a uh than a hot tub and the room itself was like 105 degrees the kids couldn't even stay in there and swim for 20 minutes so then again this might help people and like you who want to stay there in the future since they're getting these things fixed so, um now we usually don't give bad reviews at all on places i mean if if we don't like it we're going to tell you we don't like it and we're going to tell you why we don't like it if it's fair we'll tell you it's fair if it's a good place we're going to tell you it's a good place so all in all i give this rating of this motel a two and again that's ramada by wyndham and it's right in pidget forge on the left side as you're coming in right before the wax museum and not only was it just the swimming pool because we don't want to sound like a karen we're not just looking at just the swimming pool we were also looking at like the food they ran out of food um for breakfast for breakfast yeah. um you know breakfast goes from eight to ten they ran out of food at nine our air conditioner um, froze, air conditioner up, froze up continuously. i had to use uh, air, uh, a blow dryer to to defrost it so we could or, you know run it again every hour so and it was really um, hot down and there. it was really hot it was you know uh, a, a hot front coming through at that time so i mean just like i said i mean we don't want to sound like karen's we're not trying to bash the hotel um we just want to give a heads up in case you're traveling with your kids or uh, or, or, or your spouses you know if that's something that you're looking at i usually look for uh, breakfasts and i look for hotels that have swimming pools because we travel with kids mainly with, indoor you know and indoor pools because especially if it's going to rain you want them to be able to swim as long as it's not lightning have something um, to do that have something to them. do to, to relax especially if you're traveling a long way so just things to take in mind you know usually when we look for hotels we look at the breakfast we look at the swimming pool we look at the parking um we've had stayed at bad hotels before the worst we've stayed at um the parking was horrible um but we didn't call and complain we didn't get our money back for that hotel we're not karen's um but this one here I, I definitely asked for our money back for that and we did receive that now i will also say my wife works in the motel business here in pennsylvania and uh she is a receptionist at one of the motels here in pennsylvania right and so she knows customer service that's just one of her that's her part-time job but uh her full-time job she does something else at home on the computer but uh so she knows what it's all about and and how they deal with customers who's unsatisfied yeah. they usually give them like a free night stay or free you try breakfast to, you, you try, try to, to you try to be nice to your customers and and i always you know even if you can't do something you try to do the best you can and try to satisfy customers but you never lie to your customers that's my biggest thing and we continuously lie got lied to um, you don't want to um tell them that there's nothing you can do we were told to find maintenance on our own you don't tell your customers that um and they were and, somewhat and they rude. Were just rude except for mike if you see mike down there mike is the maintenance man if you do stay at that hotel you know great and fine and dandy please tell mike we said hi but and then there was another uh person that worked at the desk i can't remember her name she was a a, a black lady she was really nice too yeah. she uh kept saying hi to us and was understanding we was having issues so 
that's our review and update on that uh this has been uncle jimmy jimmy's train station travel adventures if you're watching this please subscribe to our channel go out there and have your own adventures and enjoy life and uh feel free to uh give it a thumbs up and leave comments suggestions of other things we'd like to review and uh and uh also uh you know just no. have a good time Never let a uh, bad uh, experience, you know, stop you from traveling either. Just remember that there's always going to be some bad hotels and some good hotels um, or some bad experiences or, ba or good experiences and different things you, you adventure. So just remember that. Okay, so that'll be it till next time. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.